Hey guys, uh, I went to replace the bulb on my BenQ W1070 and I re started recording this video as a simple bulb replacement but what had happened is that I had my bulb here and I had the I had, I've had the projector for a few years but this bulb exploded and so I needed a new bulb and I was kind of hesitant to buy a new one as you can see here it's kind of busted inside and you can hear glass shaking around um, but so I wanted to buy a new bulb and so I did buy a new bulb uh, the new bulb was about 250 bucks, and I kind of hesitated on buying the bulb because, you know, 250 bucks or buy a new projector, but, you know, a new projector would be about $1,000 anyway. So I thought I'd take the chance. And so what had happened is that I was, I put the bulb together here in, in this video, and then I went to go try it out, and then the projector would last three minutes or so, overheat, and turn off, uh, which was frustrating because I was like, oh, no, I just bought this bulb. Um, and so there was a fix though. So what I had to do though is take apart the whole projector and there's a four fans inside the projector and what had happened is that the glass exploded and got sucked into the blower fan which is in the center of the projector. And so what that did was stop the blower fan from circulating and blowing air onto the bulb uh, thus making the projector overheat. So what I did was had to take the whole thing apart because it's in the very center so there's I cleaned out the rest so the side fans and all that I blew it out but what I had to do was take apart the whole BenQ W1070 and take out the circuit board and underneath that was the blower fan and so then I had to take that out open up the blower fan and shake out all the dust clumps and there was a few pieces of glass I then put it back together and the projector is working perfectly so I made this video today to kind of show you the bulb replacement which is pretty easy you just put it into the top if that's all you had to do but if you came into the situation where you had a bulb that exploded, I will kind of—I just kind of recorded myself taking the whole thing apart uh, using the BenQ uh, service manual for this projector, which I'll link in the description below as well. Do keep in mind that this is the first time I did and have taken this projector apart, so don't take these steps as uh, you know concrete. This is kind of just the way I did it, following the manual. So. Uh, don't blame me if you screw up your projector. I'm just going to throw that out there. And then also uh, one caveat is that when I did take it apart, uh, I did use a compressed air can. And you want to kind of cover up the hole that goes into the color wheel because you can get dust in there. And I kind of just took the chance. If you have an air compressor, I'd kind of just spurt spurts of air in there if, if, you, if you have that. But I kind of just took the risk and uh, blew right into the machine. You could probably get away with just taking the blower fan out and blowing it out externally, but that's up to you. All right, I'll leave you with the video. I'm not going to document this step by step, but if you have, follow the manual, and if you have any questions in the manual, just kind of scroll around in the video, and you can kind of see how I took each part apart.
took right off the assembly. So here's the blower, I took it right off its uh, metal bracket. And then you can see, if you can see on the glass table here, kind of, that's all this stuff. I just shook it. And there's glass from when the, my bulb exploded. Uh, all sorts of dust. And if you look inside, you can see it's really clump, like clumpy dust inside there. So I need to get a blower or something. I don't really have compressed air or a, an air blower. So I'll have to go out and get a canister of that. And I'm just going gonna, gonna to blow this out. And then I'll put it all back together. So you had to take the whole thing apart in, uh, in order to get to the blower fan. I was able to blow the the blower out, <laughs> the blow fan out. Um, you can see it's a lot cleaner than it was before. Um, I just took a, one of these dust blasters and just dusted out the middle. Uh, a few shards of glass came out, so hopefully that's okay. And so now we're just going to put it back together.